Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 1M90 and this is Amit. It's been quite a while since I posted my last video. Actually, I was kind of busy with my office routine and that's the reason I did not get much time to go ahead and create a video. So, But, but in this video, you know, I'll be showing you how do we integrate Twitter OAuth using the most popular PHP library which is Twitter OAuth. So basically in this particular tutorial what we will be doing is we will be creating a simple I mean a sample Twitter app uh, on apps.twitter.com and also I'll be creating a sample code snippet in which you will be able to retrieve uh, a particular user's timeline uh, with a specified number of uh, post count as well as uh, we'll also see how do we create a tweet basically how do we tweet programmatically so without wasting much time let's get started so before we proceed you you will need to clone this particular twitter oauth library so this particular library is also men mentioned in the twitter's you know actual twitter's api documentation so this is a part of that uh, you know documentation itself so now this this comes handy you know like uh, whenever uh, if you would like to let me just show you a code so that you understand better so suppose you know you, you want to create an authentication i mean you want to create a connection uh, you know to start making the api request so you simply say uh, like you need to load that particular twitter worth and once it's loaded you you will need to say just new twitter worth and pass the uh, you know specified or um, generated consumer key consumer secret access token and access token secret and this is as simple as it because you know it comes in handy all the methods are you know pre-written there you need not go ahead and write it so like you know say content connection get account verify credentials all these methods are pre-written in this particular twitter OAuth library so before we proceed you will need to you know clone this repository or uh, either i mean if you're using github you can go ahead and clone it using this particular uh, URL or you can also download it as a zip file so once you have downloaded go ahead and uh, you know in any specified project directory go ahead and paste that library here as I have pasted uh, so this will be our library and I have created index.php in this index.php I have uh, added the consumer key consumer secret access token and access token secret I'll just show this I mean in a bit how do we create I mean how do we get these actually uh, you will need to go to apps.twitter.com here I mean this is a space wherein you will be able to create the uh, apps so here you have a button so let me say create new app so this opens up a, a, a form kind of uh, you know interface wherein you will need to specify your application details which is uh, say the name of the application the description and uh, the website uh, website if you are testing it on a local host then you know for now what you can do is you can just give localhost.com as your website name um, if you already have a domain name I mean wherein you wherein you will be integrating this particular uh, twitter oauth then you can directly go ahead and specify that name uh, so these three are mandatory so once you let me just show you we just create another one a myth test app so basically this is uh, the uh, uh, unique i mean the name is unique so make sure you know that, that that's a unique name you provide let me copy this name as a description so for now what i'll do is i'll give localhost onecom and callback url i think i'll be leaving this as a blank so uh, you will need to accept the developer developers you know terms and conditions guidelines etc so i have accepted it let me say create your twitter application so once you hit on that particular button a new app will be created so this 
is your consumer key let let's get inside manage keys so basically this is your consumer key this is your consumer secret so by this you know these two things are clear don't worry i'll be deleting these i mean um, these both applications uh, as soon as you know once i upload this video to youtube so i don't mind sharing this with you guys you know i also request you do not uh, share your uh, consumer secret consumer key access token and access token secret so that you know it can be misused um, so these this is the one and here you have a section for creating the access token so you just hit on this particular uh, button which which says create my access token and once you hit on that particular button it creates you a new access token and new access token secret so this is how it is uh, so this is how you create the uh, consumer key consumer secret access token and access token secret so it's as simple as that uh, after that you will need to require the uh, twitter oauth autoload.php which is basically you know it's it's resides over here and uh, then you will have to use the twitter oauth library using use and once that is done you will need to create a connection for this uh, you call I mean the method I mean you create a Twitter OAuth object with consumer key consumer secret access token and access token secret so once you have the connection object uh, you you call the get method from the connection object and you pass in as account verify credentials basically it verifies uh, whatever the information has been provided by you uh, I mean like the consumer key consumer secret access token and access token secret are valid or not uh, so this is uh, I mean this is related to the verification of the I mean creation of a, a connection object and verification of your account details whatever you have provided so once you are here so we can create a tweet which we would like to tweet using this connection post so basically you the first parameter it takes a status is update and then there is another key which is status and here you pass the tweet content so hello world is my tweet content here so once this once the control you know executes this particular line it posts the hello world as a tweet i mean it tweets hello world on behalf of you so once this is done so this is basically to create a tweet so and now to retrieve tweets or to retrieve your timeline you have i mean you you again use connection get and then here at this time you use home underscore timeline and this gets the number of posts that that are in your timeline so basically you know this takes i mean this is a count like how much how many posts you would like to retrieve you would want to retrieve so I have given five so based on your requirement you can change the number over here I mean change the count so this gets me the tweets object so I am printing this retrieved tweets or you know retrieved tweets on my home timeline so let's see how does it actually you know work so let me just refresh it okay so this is the tweets on my home home timeline so I had created uh, let me refresh this yeah you can see here the hello world tweet by me that just popped in 18 seconds ago right so uh, this is how you use it and basically this is the uh, timeline my home timeline so initially in the class zero uh, index you will get the all the i mean basically it's it's a object i mean see here the first tweet says hello world which is the one that i just posted right and this is a second one Preeti s manan so you can see here it might be somewhere here <coughs> oops so 
so basically these are five of my timeline tweets which as you can see here right so let me just refresh it and let me just refresh this as well yeah now it I mean actually the result had got updated so keep so this is the second tweet so you can see here keeping it quiet keeping it real so that this the text is getting matched so this is how you retrieve the timeline the I mean currently in this particular tutorial I showed you how do we create a tweet I mean how do we tweet and how do we retrieve the tweets so it's as simple as that you know the I mean all the background uh, coding is all done with the Twitter auth library so you need you just need to you know, use the things that are already written so uh, I guess is quite simple and pretty straightforward so in case you have any queries so do let me know in the comment section below I'll be very happy to help you I hope you guys enjoyed this video in and stay tuned for my next video thanks a lot for watching take care bye